Hands. The world's enemy of any drawer. How do you draw hands when AI can even draw them? Hi, this is Peon. I love to draw, but when it comes to hand, it's a big obstacle that I never felt brave enough to face. And this is Kos Ilus, a Korean pro artist. He is famous for his swift, effortless drawing style. Watching his videos makes me wonder if I could draw better hands. So, in this video, I'll be studying his technique and apply what I've learned to my paintings. Before diving into our study, let's learn some hand stuff. Don't worry, it's very easy. The length of the entire hand is approximately the length of your face. The length of the longest finger is roughly equal to the length of your palm on your knuckle side. However, your palm is a little bit bigger when it's in the front. Your palm has these three squishy parts, one here, one there, and another one over there. To draw fingers better, observe the rhythm of the curves here. It's pretty curvy on top and quite flat at the bottom. Understanding proportions and anatomy will help you create poses from your imagination. To understand how Coase draws hand, I started digging up and watching his videos on YouTube and gathered some key points. Starting point Coast has various beginning for drawing hands. Coast will sketch first, then shade in grayscale, or sometimes he just pull the hands from thin air, like what? After watching many videos, I feel desperate because it seems there is no secret. But then this video came up. Instead of sketching the hands like before, he blocks the silhouette first, almost like he's not drawing but painting. For me, this is a mind blowing way of painting hands. You see, blocking helps us see the overall big shapes of the hand instead of just focusing on everything at once. Before doing this study, I hardly ever noticed how pro artists paint, so it's surprising that Raja and Oreki Genya use the same technique, but in color directly. If you're having problems with blocking the shape, there's a quick homework you can do to improve your silhouette. So grab your pen and follow along. Go to your drawing software. Pick a reference, lower the opacity and create a layer on top. Choose the selection tool, switch it to polygon, and then block the shape using only a straight line. After that, fill in with one color, doing this to another 3 to 4 references and observing their simplified versions will help you analyze the shape quicker. Overall process Overall, his process would look like this. After having the silhouette, He'll start drawing in along with a reference to have more information. Then, he'll start rendering in grayscale and putting color later. This method will help you focus on the form, value, and keep color from distraction. After painting the whole hand, he will use the glazing technique to color and add finishing touch. For the glazing technique, make sure to check out this tutorial from Coase himself. Brushes he normally uses a round brush, an airbrush in Photoshop, but I'm using Medibank so the most similar brush is the pencil. My biggest takeaway is how he first blocked the big shapes. I also noticed if you want a better portray, include hands. Hands are a way of expression too, so they can tell a lot about the moods and the characters. After the study, I tried a couple of different takes on this method to figure out which one suit me the best. With the first take, I tried to block the silhouette in grayscale and then sketch on top of it. I know the blocking stage look ugly, and once I get through it, it will look better. Or is it? In my second attempt, I skipped the sketch and line art and only pen from the silhouette. I realized the lack of sketch makes me struggle in the middle of the process. I start losing control over the edges and shadow. My third attempt got a little bit better, but only on my final attempt I got more comfortable at drawing hands. I try not to depend on painting the fingers, but sketching them out. In my opinion, 
this is the best hand I've ever drawn. Sure, it doesn't look as realistic as it should be, but it makes me feel more confident. It has a defined shadow and lighting, which helps bring out the form. At the end of the day, hands are still my biggest enemy, but somehow I feel less intimidated when facing them. Knowing that with enough preparations and time, I can draw a hand better gives me hope in improving my art. So, what do you think? If you have any suggestions, feel free to leave them in the comment down below. And thank you for watching.